Now back to Rick Semler and Megan McEwen. Welcome back to In the Paint. Clay City has won a season high six straight to improve to an impressive 14 and three on the season. The Class A ninth rate field tonight. We're at Shackamack. Noah Dinker had a big game for Clay City with 19. He gets two with a tough drive and nice touch. Shackamack misses, but Michael Hudson gets the rebound, dribbles out, and knocks down the jumper. Shackamack played. One of their best games of the season tonight. Clay City, though, just had too many weapons. Trevor Singer says one, two, three. The Eels senior had 15. Lakers give the Eels a scare, but Clay City holds on to win 61-55. Clay City has won a season high seven in a row. Eastern Green was at WRV second half. T-Birds playing some serious defense. Caleb Hamilton says, get that shot out of here. Very next play, Wolverines, Jonathan Koenig wasn't afraid to attack the 10. He gets the ball and would convert the old fashioned three point play. Few in the area have been playing better than Cam Krager. He's had a couple 30 point games lately. Krager not afraid to take the ball to the hole. He scores and draws the foul for Eastern Green. The T-Birds escape on the road with a two point win. A victory tonight for Bloomfield would give them 12 and equal to the win total from last season. The Cardinals hosted North Davies. Cougars sophomore star Jalen Loniger had 13-3 coming from the wing. Connor Dowden with some great defense. He gets in the passing lane. Looks like the old Coach McBride days. They always play great defense in Bloomfield. He scores when North Davies gets called for the goaltending. Love the ball movement by the Cardinals. This is tough to defend. They keep the ball moving until big man Brandon Van Zant scores and draws the foul. He'd hit the free throw. Cardinals get the 46-38 home win, and Bloomfield does pick up their 12th win of the season to equal their win total from one season ago. Megan. Well, the WIC was on title was on the line tonight between Edgewood and Brown County. An Eagles victory, and they win the conference outright. If Dave Mahern and the Mustangs knocked off VC, then Edgewood would finish co-champs with Brown County. Congrats to Coach Mahern, who last Saturday picked up win number 300 of his career. Love the extra pass here to Austin Renard. Easy buckets. That'll tie the game up at 33. Great ball movement here by Edgewood. Cold Craddock almost loses it, but he finishes at the hoop. Mustangs take a two-point lead. Off the inbounds play, Renard just turns and shoots. I love it, draining the three. But Brown County would go on to beat Edgewood 55-49. Like I love those the shooters. shooters. Those are my people. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan was looking for his first WIC win on the season. The Golden Arrows hosted Owen Valley. Owen Valley's Hunter Sturgeon hits the three off the skip pass, putting the Patriots up three early. Great ball movement here by Sullivan. The extra pass lands in the hands of Trevor McGill. He'll knock down the three, bringing the arrows within five. Ovi's Matthew Campbell breaks through the clutter down low, getting the layup to go. Patriots go up four, and Owen Valley snaps of their five-game losing streak, beating Sullivan 48-43. Rick. I kind of felt bad for Shoals tonight. They not only had to face a very good Class 2A 11th-ranked South Knox Ball Club, but they got a Spartans team that was coming off a heartbreaking 70-69 double overtime home loss Tuesday to Linton. South Knox was ready to take out that loss on anyone tonight, and it was Shoals who had to endure it. South Knox freshman Brandon Fickling all smiles after that three. He gives the Spartans a 32-point advantage. At this point, the South Knox backups are in. The Spartans are having no problem. Sam Dallin, the sweet pass to Fickling for an easy two. That freshman had a night he will not forget. Shoals gets a late hoop from freshman Enoch Redmond. But it was too little, too late. South Knox rolls 43-41. It's just good times down in Spartans country. The varsity team's winning. And how about that South Knox D team? Yes, I'm talking D team. They keep winning as well, as they remind me on Twitter. Still to come, we have all kinds of Class A action, including highlights from Bar Reeve, Washington Catholic, North Central, Rockville, North Vermilion, and Turkey Run. Plus, we'll also introduce you to tonight's Sports 10 Spirit winners and our fantasy stars when In the Paint returns.